What's going on, guys? I'm Kevin0815, and this is The Illegal. Uh, this is Jesse, and this is the first ever episode of the Kevin0815 show featuring The Illegal. You know, we'll work on the name. We'll work on the name. It's a work in progress. I mean, it's our first episode. It's true. So. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking Kevin and The Illegal. But uh, but they might change. Yeah. Might, might might not. Fuck yeah. it. Who cares? I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're the Kevin and Jesse show. I don't know. I don't know. I don't exactly know yet. Uh, we'll figure it out. You'll figure it out when we figure it out. <laughs> so <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so today's topic is uh, the zombie apocalypse. What would you do during the zombie apocalypse? Personally, we live in southern New Jersey. We're not too far from a military base. You know, that has all five branches. Personally, I'm going in there. Hopping the fence. Shut up. <laughs> That's a very illegal thing of you to say. So, no, I'm not supposed to be here anyway. Not even. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> since I'm on a military base, I'm finding all the weapons I can, all the ammo I can, and I'm going to sustain myself by sleeping in the commissary, you know, have as much food on me as I can. What the about you? The only sucky part about where we live is there's so much woods. There's so much woods, which means at nighttime, we would be... 80% fucked. <laughs> I mean... Unless we walk in the middle of the road, just like... I mean, that's everywhere you go, because as dark where we live, yes, but if, if it's a zombie apocalypse, it's going to be dark everywhere. Even New York City. Sure. So, it doesn't really matter where you are. You're, as you say, 80% fucked. That's true. I, I wonder if a generator would work. It should work, as long as you have gas. Yeah, but, you know, since there's the zombie apocalypse, we really can't generate more gasoline. So that'll only work for so long. We'll take a boat to <laughs> random. Give us fucking gas! Give us motherfucking gas! <laughs> we will bring the zombies over, motherfucker! Give us and gas! If there's a zombie I'm sure they're there, too. True, good point. So, the, you, damn, them motherfuckers can swim, can't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, why are you not talking about swimming? <laughs> they swim with their arms, not a boat. Or a tub. I got here in the bathtub. You know, <laughs> figure, like, if you put some tires on them bitches, you're good. Hold 90 row, miles. Row, row, row your tub gently through the ocean. It works. <laughs> and if you're in a real rush, push a couple kids out. They, I, don't, they don't miss much. Personally, me, I would go up to the mountains. And how are you going to eat the mountains? Well, see, there's a place up in upstate New York. Oh, yeah, because that's right next to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I will steal a fucking car if I have to. I'll steal a jet. If I, hey, it's a zombie apocalypse. You can steal anything. If Woody Harrelson can steal somebody's Hummer and paint a three on the side of it, I can fucking steal a jet. I can steal the WWE headquarters jet and fly my ass to upstate New York. Yeah, I'm sure you're not a flight plane. And no zombie will come near it because if they come near it, then they get by the jet, they're going to go, and then blow away and burn to death. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I would go up to upstate New York, and that's, I mean, that's just where I would go. Like, how you going to feed yourself? How you going <laughs> to supplies? Got, hey, you know, it's a long drive up there. See, I had a okay. plan. I'm somewhere where there's food, <laughs> weapons. You're just all doing your dumb shit, so. I'm driving up, and on the way there, I'm stopping at a store, <laughs> grabbing as much food as I can. I'm going up to, uh, the cabin. I'm gonna have enough food. What then, cabin? I'm gonna huh? What cabin? There's there's cabin. There's like cabins up in upstate in the mountains in New York. And you know exactly where they are. Yes, I do. How so? My mother-in-law knows where they're at. Yeah, and she's alive during all this. Yo, she. If there's one person who can make it through a zombie apocalypse, this is that woman right there. <laughs> all right. For enough. two reasons. One, uh -oh. she's smart enough. To, to, to get herself through the zombie apocalypse because she's seen more than enough. She is the biggest zombie movie fan I've ever seen in my life. She knows what needs to be done, how to do it, all that shit. And two, she is not exactly a petite woman. She is a tough fucking woman. She will knock a motherfucker out if she has to. I don't know. Uh, so I'll take a, I don't know where so I'll take your word for that. All right. <laughs> yes. And so so yeah. Like I would follow her and then. <coughs> my friend John would follow me but like I would get I wouldn't even you know what I would I'd be just like Daryl from The Walking Dead I would have a bow and arrow because yeah. you would never run out of ammo as long as you get your arrows back yeah and uh 
you yeah. know, you put a hole in my plane. And then another thing, if Walking Dead is any accurate, if you fire a weapon, you're just going to attract more zombies. Yeah. So, the more you kill, like, if you kill one, like, five will take its place. So, you'll eventually fuck yourself. So. Yeah, pretty All right. much. Alright, so you put a hole in my plane. So, okay. <laughs> Actually, no, 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 no. And my mom military breaks, I can get suppressors. Here's one thing I've learned about the zombie apocalypse. No army, no military, and no police enforcement survive. <laughs> Regular everyday Joe's like us, oh, we survive longer than police officers, firefighters, all of that. Here's why, because they actually have to go straight into it. While everyone else is running away, they're going straight towards it. So that's why they're going to die first. Because they're going face to face into the zombie on purpose. That's true. Everyone knows who runs into a zombie is because they didn't want to. But I tell you what, if I was a cop, I'd be like, all right, get those zombies. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, right. I'll shoot him in the head, and guess what? Every single one of them will come towards me. Fuck you, Sarge. You want to do it? Knock yourself out. Yep. So, I'd say it, but uh, if someone says, all right, where are the zombies? The zombies are that way? <laughs> cool. I'm going to go that way. Exactly. And you can call me whatever you want, but honest, hey, honestly, alive. December 21st, 2012, I was praying for a zombie apocalypse. Because I have so many problems in this world <laughs> that if a zombie apocalypse came, they would all go away. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, what are you going to do? I would, I would go to work in the zombie apocalypse, and I'd beat my bosses up and then feed them to the zombies. I'm like, here, dinner! <laughs> well, that's true, because if they, if the apocalypse... I don't have to pay my credit card no more. Well, my cell phone's not going to work anyway, so I don't have to pay them. Don't have to worry about mortgage. Don't have to worry about, nope, buying a new car. Hey, nope. Just he, break into the fucking dealer place, steal the keys, steal the car. Ain't no, like nobody's going to arrest you. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do steal a car, just run away for a few minutes because the car alarm is going to go off and you're going to attract people so, or things. You can't really call people. True. But, yeah. I mean, if they still, still don't see any. Walkers. I don't know. Can we say walkers? Can we say walkers? They don't. They didn't trademark the term. So walkers. All right. Why not? It's called walkers for you Walking Dead fans. Yeah. Uh, well, if they're fans of the uh, Walking Dead, they already know they're called walk walkers. Yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what a zombie sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> or walker. Whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you would go to the mountains. I would go to a military base. What would you guys do? He would die. <laughs> you die. Everybody too. knows if military bases are gone first. <laughs> Go watch The Walking Dead. All right, they even say yeah. the military base went. <laughs> uh, the, well, yeah, because there were a shitload of people making noise and they didn't know about the whole thing. Say that I would know. I'd have a different. You know. I mean, I want to say something. I hate to get all religious and everybody, but in the Bible, oh boy. It, oh do boy. it does say that the dead will rise again. What are they, Jesus? Every without Walker is Jesus? Jesus is the first ever zombie. Oh, you just pissed off so many viewers. <laughs> Yo. You he be, said it, not me. <laughs> I didn't say shit. You could be pissed off if you want. Technically, Jesus is the first and original. He's the OG. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's the original zombie, okay? <laughs> he, he died. He was the first person to die and come back to life. Except he didn't go, uh, uh, uh. He went, oh. Were you there? <laughs> what? Were you there? Who knows? Yeah, and he went, da 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 <laughs> <laughs> Was it in that, um, Jay saw the Bible with Big Love? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just came out like, <coughs> <coughs> That's funny shit. <coughs> okay, now I got us. So I'm going to burn the hell too with him. <laughs> See, that's what he gets. Jesus did that to me. <clears throat> the OG zombie did that to me. Alright, but yeah. Jesus is the original zombie. That motherfucker died on a cross, okay? His his heart was like... And then he was put in a tomb, probably thrown in a tomb. I mean, if they threw his ass on a cross, they'd probably just... They you grab did you throw grab his ass on the cross. <laughs> like, here you go, and the... You, you grab the arms, I grab the legs. One, two, and there goes God's son. And they locked him in <laughs> they locked him in a tomb. And then like on Easter Day, 
he came in. Oh, yeah, I wonder what day he died. I don't think I ever found that out. I don't know. I don't read the Bible. Neither have I. I just heard things. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> but they threw him in there, and he came, and then on Easter Day, he came out and was like, Oh, <laughs> one day I will return and rise from the dead. That's what you're doing now, buddy. Shut up. And then he returned to heaven. So, 2,000 years and change? None. Yeah. You know, he was the first before Obama. Jesus oh, Christ. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this can't be good. I don't know this is going to be bad. Before Obama, Jesus Christ was the first one that said there would be change. Many, many thousands of years later, <laughs> here we are with Obama, promising us change again. They're going to hang his ass on the cross. Too black, they're going to lynch him. They're going to take the time with It's going to be a hate crime. <laughs> And then he's going to be come back. He's going to come back from the dead. As and then, nope, no white guy can kill a black zombie because everybody will consider that a hate crime. See, oh, kill the black it, zombie. I'm going to go off topic here because South Park said it best. Isn't every crime a hate crime? Like every it's time. True. You, because, hey, I really like you, but I'm going to kill you. You hate the guy. That's why you're fucking killing the guy. All right, well, guys, that, that's pretty much it. What would you guys do if a zombie apocalypse actually fucking happened? Where would you go? How would you handle your situation? How would you survive? Who would be with you? Exactly. You um, if you could save three people, who would you bring? You know, um, <clears throat> these are questions, you know, you should, you guys should, you know, leave lengthy comments. I'm Prepare cool. yourselves, you yeah. know. Get ideas from other people. You never know. Don't be ignorant. Prepare yourself. Yeah, so... There Guys, I really appreciate you sticking with us through this whole time, if you did. Um, I'm Kevin. And if we don't burn, and my name is Jesse, and we don't burn in hell for saying, well, he doesn't burn in hell for everything he said. Fire. We will see you later on, and we'll have another one of our discussions. Check so guys, later. take care, guys.